But the reality is that Jesus Christ, he was beat, uh, and he was mocked, and he was spit on, and he was tortured, and he was innocent, and we were not. And so he came down, and he put on flesh, and he came to the, the womb of a virgin, and he stepped into our reality, just like that. And for 18 years, he worked with his hands, with wood, every day, knowing that one day he would be nailed to what he made his living on. Every day, knowing why he came. And he came for you. And he came for you. And he came for you. And you. Mr. Birthday Man. But he came for us. The Bible says that all have sinned uh, and fallen short of the glory of God. I don't have to convince you that you have sinned. The law of God is written in your heart. And uh, that's why you need a new heart. Because the law says that you have sinned. And the law states that without the, the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. Jesus fulfilled that law and he became sin so that we could become righteousness. And not only that, he gives us a new heart, a new mind, a new operating system, so that we're totally different people. And with that new heart comes the grace of God. And the grace of God is the favor of God. It allows us to carry out the will of God. And that's why we were created. So there is a, a, a reality and a, a sobering reality. And that reality is this, that today is the day of salvation and the kingdom of God is at hand right now. It's, it's within reach. At any moment, God can break in and, and the Holy Spirit can come on you and he can break the disease off you and he can, he can break a learning disability right off you. And, and at any moment, he can just break it at any moment. And you need to live with that reality that at any moment God can invade. And he probably will. And if he does, if God visits time and space, it will never be the same. That I can tell you from experience. That's true. It's true here. And it's true right here. And and so I want to um, I want to tell you that uh, every day um, that you have temptations coming to you more than any other generation ever before on our phones we have temptations that are that are popping up uh, we have opportunities that are presented email Facebook Text, uh, text messages, billboards, uh, um, movies, music, uh, school, everything.
everywhere you go, you are being presented with information that is, uh, is contrary to the truth of this book. Every moment, of every day, there's a war going on for your soul. Right? It's a wonderful day. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And there's very smart people who thinks that that was the song that Jesus sang before he went into Jerusalem. Because for the joy set before him, he, he endured the cross on our behalf. And on the Mount of Olives, they think that the song that he sang was this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And so you were in his mind on that day. This nation was, was in his mind. Your future was in his mind. And for the joy set before him, he went into that city. Ready. 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 Ready to conquer death on your behalf, on my behalf, so that we would know how to live. And, and, and so that our light would shine in the darkness. And the darkness would not overcome that light. And so you know what today is? Today is the, the resurrection, is the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And I'm going to tell you just like this. Muhammad is dead. You hear me what I'm saying to you? Um, Harry Krishna is dead. They're dead. Jesus, his tomb is empty. Uh, he's alive. And today is the 8th of April uh, 2012 and God's kingdom is increasing and, and God is moving in the earth I don't know if you know that but I'm going to tell you real quick uh, 150 years ago in Africa there was no Christians zero now there's 600 million in the Dominican Republic 120 years ago there was no Christians now there's 1 million um, in one generation ago in South Korea it was full of idols now the president of the nation he gets on his knees and he prays to Jesus Christ, his Savior and his Lord. He speaks in tongues. I mean, he's a Christian just like us. Okay, so what I'm telling you is that Jesus wins. That's true. And you need to live with that in your mind. Because you're not a victim. The past is over. And it's time for you and for your nation to step, in, to step into the future that God has for you.